Hi, I'm Mike Stetson, Sports Information Director here at Northwest Nazarene, and I want to welcome you to the inaugural Coaches Show. Throughout the year, we'll be talking with uh, a variety of coaches and players about uh, the performances from the past week and also the upcoming events. Starting off this, uh, the first show, we've got uh, volleyball head coach Doug English, who this weekend took his team down to Colorado. The ladies picked up three big wins and uh, want to talk about uh, the trip to Colorado. So we'll turn it over to Doug and just say uh, welcome. For, thank you for joining us and uh, tell me about uh, the weekend down in Colorado. Yeah, first of all, happy to be here. Um, and the weekend in Colorado was going into it. We knew we were going to play three teams that were ranked in the top 30 in the country. And to come out of it three and one, it was it's a better weekend than I think we could have hoped for. It was, it was what we wanted to happen. Um, we thought if we go 4-0, it would be I mean, an amazing weekend for us. And if we went 2-2, it would probably be what was expected. And I think 3-1 and was a little better than expected. And everybody got a chance to, everybody competed and competed well. And we learned some good lessons from playing really good teams this weekend. Looking at the stats, uh, a variety of different team leaders. How nice is that uh, first weekend that uh, not one player had to step up, but lots of different players stepped up? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a really nice thing and one of the luxuries we have with our group. And it was kind of the teams that we were playing and what we needed to exploit were the kids that stepped up and played well. And, and I think you saw that. And part of that is our setter, Michelle Terpstra, does a great job of getting the ball to people who need to get the ball at the right times. So, um, and yeah, and I think that's one thing that's going to be a huge strength for us is that at any given match, at any given time, we can have three to four people that we can go to to kill volleyballs for us. Uh, I think fans who came out uh, a week ago Friday to see the College of Idaho match got a taste of uh, what some of the incoming freshmen can do, uh, especially Kendra Bodine. But talk about Kendra and Maddie Farrell, both had huge weekends down in Colorado. Yeah, both of them being freshmen um, and being first college matches, they were unbelievable. Neither one of them was af afraid of the competition or um, were passive because they were freshmen. I mean, Kendra played phenomenal. I mean, one of the things that we we stress is not making a lot of, of errors, and Kendra's that type of volleyball player where she's super smart and scores points when she knows she can score points, and when she doesn't, when she can't score points, she puts a lot of pressure on the other teams. Um, and so, and she's had to go along with being a good blocker and a great defender. She's She's. I mean, she was great for us this last weekend. It's been great in practice, and Maddie's the same way. I think Maddie can terminate balls almost at the same level that Andy can, um, and she's learning defense and blocking wise where she needs to go and what she needs to be. And it's been. But both of them. I mean, they just. They. They were. They exceeded my expectations this weekend going into it. Uh, let's look ahead to this coming weekend, mm -hmm. going down to. Uh, Riverside, California, to play in the GNAC uh, Pac West crossover tournament. You'll be taking on uh, Point Loma, Nazarene, on Thursday, Dixie State on Friday, and then a pair of matches Saturday against Azusa Pacific and then yeah. the host Cal Baptist. Yeah. Uh, and looking at the polls again, uh, two teams ranked in the uh, top uh, 35 in the nation, yeah. so another chance to make some impact yeah, this, statements. This is this weekend's probably the biggest preseason weekend we have. I mean, we only have two preseason weekends, but it's a chance to go on the road and compete against the top teams from the Pac West, who those are teams that we're competing for at large bids at the end of the year. Um, it's huge to go in and make a statement and hopefully not just and then you go four and zero, but hopefully you know Western, Central, and Anchorage all go four and zero too. So that, I mean that'll all help us in the postseason. And I mean the teams, the goal of the preseason was to play the toughest preseason schedule we could find and find us a way to get into the tournament through our preseason. Um, and out of the teams, I think Point Loma is going to be at the same level that three of the four teams we were at last weekend were. And Cal Baptist is going to be good. And then Davis State we lost to last year, and so did Azusa Pacific. So I think going in, we're pretty motivated to play and play well. Uh, just looking around the conference, uh, some other teams did very well to start the year, uh, especially Central Washington, the, kind of the uh, grudge match team. Uh, talk about uh, where you guys stack up. Is this, uh, this going to be that tough of a conference this year? Because Central Washington, they beat uh, Cal State San Bernardino, right. which was number eight, and UC San Diego, which was number 11. Yeah, I think our conference is, is phenomenal, and I think it's whether it's Central or Western or Anchorage or us or SPU played Dixie State, and they were a tournament team last year and beat Dixie State this last weekend. So that's, I mean, those are five teams that are really, really good that we're going to have to, I mean, it's a 
GNAC and all the sports, they're top level competition across the board. And so I think we have that this year and um, we're going to match up as well as we do against anybody. I think we have a type of team where we can play against anybody um, and have a chance to win any match. And all of them playing well this last weekend is really great for us in our postseason chances. Like them going to beat CCA teams is huge for us and getting us more bids um, in the future. And so that's, I'm excited they played well and I'm excited to play Central next Thursday. Any concerns heading into the, uh, the coming week? No, I mean, the biggest concern is we have a lot of girls who deserve playing time and should play and not everybody can play and so it's just trying to figure out who's playing good right now and make the right decision in order to put our team in the best chance to win. That's going to be the biggest concern. Good luck this weekend. Appreciate you joining you. us this, uh, this week in the inaugural Shell Coach. Thanks Mike. Next up, we've got uh, women's head soccer coach, Mary Trigg. Mary took <coughs> excuse me, her team to Colorado this past week, uh, got a chance to watch the volleyball team play, and uh, also got a couple games in, played a tough Regis team, a perennial national tournament team, and then Colorado Christian came away with uh, one loss and a tie on the road. So Mary, welcome, and thank you for joining us on the Coaches Show. Thanks, Mike. Tell us a little bit about the weekend. How did things go down in Colorado for you ladies? Um, you know, our first game against Regis, it was really good for us um, to see that high level of a game this early in the season. And um, it was a good challenge for us. I thought we moved the ball well. Um, could have gotten a goal in that game, but um, struggled a little bit with our finishing. But it was a very good game for us to see where we're at. Obviously, uh, the next day you guys had some chances against, uh, or on Saturday you had some chances against Colorado Christian. Disappointed, or did you feel like a tie on the road this early in the season is a good uh, result? Um, our defense definitely did a good job to come away um, with the shutout. Our, our goalkeeper, freshman goalkeeper Danny Ortiz, did a great job all weekend. Um, so that was really good on the road to be able to have a solid defense. But it was one we should have um, we should have finished on. We had a, we had a lot of good chances. And the good part of this weekend is we, in both games we created a lot of good chances for ourselves and that sometimes can be the hardest part and now we're just this week going to be fine tuning our finishing and um, hopefully it'll all come together for our two home games. Obviously the fans are going to look forward to celebrating some goals this year. How tough is it with so many new faces, so many new players to get them all on the same page to, to get that fine tuned finishing yeah. up yeah. front? It's, um, but still, I can tell we, we've still got a couple things to sort out with knowing each other more because um, we are starting. I think it's nine, nine of our 11 starters are, are sophomore or younger or, or new. And so having realizing that of, of it's a whole new team. And so we're doing a good job of, I think we meshed a lot quicker than I thought, but we still have um, to learn the way I, the style I want to play, and it's coming together, but it, it, it just takes some time to get our back line together, and that's kind of sorting out, and now we're on to our front line to, f to figure that out together. Uh, official home opener coming up on Saturday. How excited are you to get on the field here in Nampa and uh, host a couple of teams and get a chance for a couple of wins? Yeah, we're excited. It's always good when California teams come here, and so we have two tough California teams coming, East Bay and Dominican. And our girls are anxious to be at home. They're ready to have a game that counts at home, and we pl play well at home. And um, I think it's going to be, like I said, we've seen that final little piece to the puzzle, and I'm hoping it's this weekend. East Bay will play Central Washington on Thursday, and then you play them at 1 o'clock on Saturday. Uh, looking at their early results, uh, a 5 nothing win for them over, uh, let's see, Fresno Pacific, and then uh, they lost to Notre Dame, uh, Dinamar. Paul Dana <laughs> uh, So, what do you know so far about East Bay? Yeah, East Bay's always been. You know, I used to coach in the CCAA, and so they've always been solid. Um, they're in a strong conference, and Notre Dame Dana is always strong. So, I think it'll be a, a tough game. 
Um, I don't know much about Fresno Pacific, but East Bay's always puts out a good team. So it's gonna be, they're going to be good defensively, I think. And then on Monday, a uh, 3 o'clock game against Dominican. Uh, they will be playing uh, on Saturday against uh, Central Washington prior to your game. Uh, do you know much about Dominican? I know they lost their only game so far this year. Yeah, um, they played a nationally ranked team as well, so they'll, they'll be coming in at a high level. We got to play them last year at their place, and um, kind of a stinger loss for us, one nothing loss, so I think we're ready to um, have a rematch and um, be able to see how we can do. Well, I appreciate you joining us Thank on the Cook Show. Thank you very much. Don't forget to come out and support the Crusaders this weekend as the men play soccer Friday at 5.30 and the women take on East Bay Saturday and Dominican on Monday. Thank you.